Welcome to Goa. In this video, I arrive in the hippie town of Arambol in the northern part of Goa. I find a cheap bungalow on the beach, rent a beautiful royal Enfield, and then just explore around. I will check out the markets, the beach, and I will show you around this hippie paradise. But the bad news is that I jumped into the water with my GoPro and suddenly it died. So I went on an afternoon adventure to find a brand new GoPro to buy. But you have to watch this video until the end to see if I was able to find it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. All right, guys, I just moved from Morgin here to Arambol for a couple of nights and I choose this uh, little bungalow, a bit extreme because it's right next to the beach, which is beautiful, but it's uh, without AC and can get a bit hot. This is my room. It's called Shantaram Beach Huts here in Arambol. Let me show you the bungalow. So this is my room. Fan, no AC unfortunately, that's why I can only stay a couple of days. And this is the bathroom, the shower here. The best thing about this place is that it's right on the beach, there is a restaurant and then the beach in front, let me show you. So this is the restaurant right in front of the beach. I love to have like a lunch and dinner here. Look at this man, and this is the quiet side of Arambo. It's towards the end so you can have a very nice uh, beach walks here, very relaxing. It's not crowded, it's not busy. And the restaurant is called Cafe Maitri. Man, I really like this area of uh, Arambol Beach. The center is basically down there, so the crowd is all the way down there. Here it's very quiet. Man, the sand is hot. All right, so this is the one, the Royal Enfield 350. You put some stickers, huh? Nice. I'm trying the bike now and it's still in good condition after three years. This bike is five years old, so I'm gonna rent it for a couple of weeks. <laughs> it's good to be back on a Royal Enfield. Guys, if you are in Goa and you want to rent a motorbike, Akash is your man. That's already the second time that I rented from him. He has the Royal Enfield. Akash, you also have the Himalaya, right? Yes, yes. Cars as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Car and a scooter? Yes. Small scooter? Yes. Okay. So uh, Akash is your man, he's gonna give you a good price. Yes. <laughs> Man, I have to say, the bike with the stickers, it looks really cool. All right, guys, let's have a haircut. My go experience. In a... Yeah. So I'm in Arambol, which is the hippie beach here in Goa, also the most famous beach amongst foreigners. And Guru, the hairdresser, told me that uh, most people here are from Russia and Israel. So now it's October and as you can see most of the things are still closed, the roads is quiet, not so many people around. But if you come here in uh, December, January and February, man, this place is packed with people, packed with cars, everything is open, shops, restaurants. I was here actually three years ago, three years ago and four years ago as well. And it's something completely different. Now it's extremely quiet. Just because now it's the shoulder season between the monsoon season and the high season. But already next month, November, December, this place is gonna be jam-packed. I need something to swim here because I don't have any swimming clothes. Many size possible. Yeah. So cute. Sleeping? Yeah, sleeping. <laughs> so cute. So yeah, I want to buy something to swim here in Goa because I don't have anything. This one looks okay, just for a few days. This one how much? 450. 450. Hello. Can do, can try. <laughs> video, video. <laughs> this one 4 XL. Can I try this one? Right. You, where are you from? Gujarat. Gujarat. Ah. North. North. Oh wow. You look very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> this husband? Yes. With baby? Yeah. And daughter? Yeah, and one more son. One more? In this good size, huh? Nice color also on. Yeah, it. really good color. I really like it. Short, short and, and short. short, total 500. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Bye bye. Thank, bye. You. Thank you. Later, take my picture also. Diamond picture. Diamond picture. 
This is your shop? Yeah, yeah. You're from Goa? No. No, Kashmir. Kashmir? Kashmir. Very nice. This diamond. Black one. Black I can diamond. Give particular everything, don't worry about that. Wow. And this is the white one. From Africa. It's one carat. Price for the diamond? It's over $1,700. $1,700? Yeah. Oh. It's the one carat. And if you want it like this, $650, $450. Dollar. Yeah, this is a black one, 850. This one carat. 850 dollar. Yeah, this is a one carat. One carat black diamond. Yeah. How much again? 850 dollar. 850 dollar. I have a special relationship here with the uh, Arambol in Goa because I spent a few months here, first time in 2019 and then also in 2020, right before the pandemic, the lockdown, I escaped from Goa to Bangkok. Luckily, I didn't get stuck here because the lockdown here during COVID, it was pretty harsh. And in February 2020, right before the pandemic, I did a breathwork uh, facilitator course here. So for 12 days here in Arambol, I did a breathwork course and I got certified as a facilitator. And it was a very, very interesting experience. Breathwork as a practice is extremely, extremely powerful. Is this handmade? Yes. Wow. So all of those you make, oh. Yes. Amazing. How long to make one? Uh, one hour. One hour? Yeah. Always the big one, one hour? Yeah. Small one? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> wow. And the price, 250? Yes. Oh. Big size. Ah, 500 the yeah. big size. Big size. This one 250. This is amazing. Arambol as a place can be a little bit out there, a little bit too extreme. It's a pretty intense place, but somehow from time to time I like to come here. So this is the main market of Arambol. As, and as you can see, is uh, it's very quiet. There is nobody around. I remember just three years ago during the high season this road was packed with uh, tourists, foreigners, Indian, it's like a mix of people. A lot of Russian people live here actually long term but also you have a bunch of uh, tourists, backpackers. Hi sir. What is this? This is for medicine, Ayurvedic medicines. Ah, Ayurvedic? Yeah, herbal medicine. Different, different people, some back problem, knee problem, yeah. liver problem, cough problem. And you treat with Ayurvedic yeah, uh, medicine. Yes, yes, yes. I struggle with the anxiety. My mind think too much. Okay, I have for medicine for uh, inside also some oil also giving every day. Yeah. Yes. Worry too much worry. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. I have activations. It's uh, yeah, oil I get the like this every day. Just like this, just oil. Relax. Very strong, yes. Very strong, very powerful. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very strong. Uh, this is uh, relax, relax, relax the mind. Yeah, this side also. Ooh. <laughs> but it's so strong. Very strong. You know, activation of the body. All veins is getting, it's all slipping like this. Pushing. After is very good. You feel like awake. Yeah. This is for my brown also, headache problem also, everything. Seems. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. What's the name? Thylum. This is for thylum. Thylum. So, yes, thylum. It's 24 herbs inside. Ah. It's making for all uh, herbs inside. It's making the fire. It's all closing. Ah. Drop, drop, drops coming. Very powerful. That very powerful. Yeah, yeah, very powerful. So every day, just put just like few, in the morning. Yes, morning and evening. Yes. How much for this one? This three three thousand rupees. Oh, three thousand. Yeah, this is one year is coming. One year, two years, no problem. Oh, ah, yeah, three thousand. Yes. Ah, there is. I see you have many there. Yeah, yeah, yeah many, many. Oh, but three thousand is yeah, a lot. Small, small one also fifteen hundred. Something cheaper you don't have. Is uh, smaller is one thousand. Less than that, they don't have. If you want, I'll give you some. <laughs> Might be a little bit. Yeah, inside. is it possible? Five hundred like this. Yeah, maybe five hundred. Just give me the five hundred version. It's gonna make a smaller version for me. 
half of it for 500 rupee. But man, to smell it, it's so powerful, like so strong. Israel country, huh? No, Italy. Italy, Italy, okay. Here many Israeli, huh? Yes, no, many Israeli, Italian, England, Russia, 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 Russia a lot. lot of people. Russia, yeah. lot of people. So this is his contact if you guys want to know more about traditional Ayurvedic. It's my family medicine, father, grandfather, old generation. Oh. I'm fifth generation, my family. Oh, Ayurveda. Ayurveda. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. If it is any time, it will do, okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Now my anxiety and depression will be cured. So we are now at Arambol Beach. The beginning of Arambol, it's uh, full of people. And here you have a lot of restaurants, a lot of shops. But then if you keep walking further down, it's gonna get quieter and quieter. And actually my favorite part, it's all the way down, which is very quiet. There are still beach restaurants that you can enjoy and it's a really cool area. Today is a bit, uh, as you can see, it's not so clear the weather, but the more we move towards the high season, so December, January, it's gonna get pretty clear, beautiful blue sky, nice sun. The water also becomes much calmer and it's really enjoyable, Arambol Beach. Thank you. I just ordered a fresh orange juice. Many crazy people are here. Russian, <laughs> Russian people. Russian, they crazy. Russian, they crazy. <laughs> so, you want them. to be in my video? Yeah, hi, namaste. <laughs> Fresh orange juice and water. It's so hot today. The only problem is that they know you a lot here yes, to sell you like bracelets. Nightclub bracelet, necklace. No, it's okay. Already five people came to me. I know, but. I don't need a bracelet. I miss Arambol, man. It's a good feeling here, especially with the Royal Enfield. <laughs> it's a very free place here. Everybody just do their own things. You can do whatever you want. There is a beach, there is a lot of nature. It's a good bike. Royal Enfield, good bike. Good bike, yeah. Heavy bike, actually. Heavy bike, yeah. Good for the road trip. Road trip yeah. and mountain. Yeah. Around Arambol, not, not the best bike. In local, not the best. Little bit too big. Yeah. Heavy bike, good bike. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Man, here three and four years ago, they used to do ecstatic dance in this area. And this tree was absolutely gorgeous. And look at this now, it's completely destroyed. I don't know what they are doing here. It looks like they are building like a resort or something. But I have so many good memories here. And it's a shame that it's not a ecstatic dance anymore. It was like three times a week around 7 p.m. You will come here and just dance your ass up, let it go. Everybody was just dancing so freely without caring what other people think. It was one of my favorite things to do here in Goa because it really allowed me to let go, to not care what other people think of me, the judgments of other people. It was a great way to just express myself, let the music flow inside myself, inside my soul and just dance and do whatever movement I wanted to do. I was actually excited to come back here and try ecstatic dance again, but that place is gone so as you can see here now it's everything is completely destroyed but this one in few months is gonna be a resort all of those are gonna be rooms there is gonna be a restaurant and arable is all like this during the monsoon season completely destroyed and then in a month or two they build the rooms and then you're gonna have accommodations restaurants by the beach for the high season Hi. thank you this building the restaurants now huh? yes yes very nice thank you bro you're very kind hi i want to ask you like every season yes yes build again build again end of uh, april we are shut down end of april end of april yeah shut down like destroy everything yes, yes, yes. and then build again build again now now everybody everybody because of the government or what's the reason monsoon season monsoon season yes. when are you opening uh, week, I think. Next week. Next week. Oh, okay. Yes. Man, this is crazy. In April, they destroy everything, shut down, destroy the bungalow, the restaurants for the monsoon season, 
and then now October they start to build again from scratch for the high season it's gonna be jam-packed with tourists restaurants they're gonna sell out all the bungalow and then again in April they're gonna destroy everything again that's crazy and all the restaurants along the beach all the resort they're gonna do the same thing oh thank you bro one sip okay, okay. one sip from here yeah one sip okay thank you Made of what is the material? Uh, bamboo mat. Bamboo. Bamboo mat and plywood. Here they're gonna build the bungalow very soon. All the material is ready. Price for this one? Uh, one thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred uh, only. And then uh, and season is slowly slowly up. Yeah. The New York Christmas four thousand. Four thousand. Yes yes. For the Christmas and New Year. Yes yes. Three years ago, I used to come here to do ecstatic dance. Yes, yes. Now they don't have any more. Now the big banyan tree fell down. Ah. Then finished this. The uh, banyan tree fell down. Fell down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of the monsoon. Yeah, I think yeah monsoon. Then after other people took this land. Yeah. And he make nice bungalow. I see they are building yeah, bungalow now. Very expensive bungalow. Expensive AC luxury. Man, AC. Oh, I see. AC. So for example, this one. You see, this is gonna be a restaurant very soon. And you have uh, the bungalow behind. They will just build it now and then it's gonna be ready in a few weeks. Yeah, it's not the cleanest of the water, but it's always nice to swim. So guys, I have a big problem. I jump inside the water with my GoPro, close of course, and I've done it hundreds of times before. Somehow the water went inside and now it's dead. I don't know what happened. Usually this should keep the water outside, but uh, it went inside. Now it's broken. As you can see, I put the butter inside. Now it should turn on. But it doesn't work. That's a big problem. So I went to buy some rice because I check on YouTube and they say that if you put the GoPro inside the rice for one day, two days, three days, it might remove completely the water and it might turn on again. I will try, I have nothing to lose for like a hundred rupees. So they say I should uh, put the GoPro inside here. Some people say that I can wait one day, some people say it's better three or four days. So let's put it inside. To be honest, I cannot take the risk to wait maybe one day, two days, three days. Pull it out of the rice and see that the GoPro still doesn't work. I really need the GoPro now to make some videos in India. So I found a shop in Goa, it's called Chroma. It's actually a little bit far, it's 30 kilometers away from Arambo. It's near Kalangute Beach, so I think I'll uh, take the motorbike and go there. Alright guys, 30 kilometers later, made it to Chroma. There it is, GoPro 11. This is the price? Alright guys, purchase made, GoPro 11, 34,990 rupees. Now we can continue making videos. I was on my way back to Arambol, almost there. I'm actually in Pernem and I found this very nice market. This place is amazing. I'm the only foreigner here. And they're all local people and it's such an authentic market this is dry fish and dry shrimps
I'm back uh, at my beautiful hotel. Look at this view, man, for sunset. People just walking along the beach, relaxing. You can even have dinner right there on the beach. I decided to sit here. I'm gonna unbox my new GoPro, do some work, and also order some Indian food. So I ordered a Kingfisher, and let's unbox this uh, GoPro. All right, here we have it. Thank you, bro. So it's pretty much the same as the 10 model. 10, 11 is pretty much the same. Even the 12, I heard it's uh, the same. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tour of Arambol in Goa, India. Now many things are under construction and work in progress, so next month is gonna be better. My recommendation, if you want to visit Goa, come between November and March. This is a great time to enjoy the beach, to swim, to really unwind, relax and, uh, and recharge your batteries. This is a great place really to relax have a nice walks on the beach, eat good food and just uh, have a good time. I love to come to Goa from time to time. But if I have to be honest, that beach bungalow over there, I didn't have a great experience because without AC, it's really hard to sleep. It was very hot and very humid. Also, the fan was very loud and I found a frog inside my bathroom. So it was like many little things that uh, yeah, I didn't have a really good time there, but it's amazing that you are right on the beach. So you literally wake up, just walk a few steps, drink a coffee, walk a few more steps, and you are on the beach. That's incredible. Also guys, I want to clarify that Arambol is a very small uh, town in Goa, but Goa actually it's a huge area. There are so many beach and the coastline is 160 kilometers. So you have a lot to explore, different areas, different vibes. Arambol is just a tiny part, but it's one of my favorite to be honest. All right guys, that's it from me now. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Share with me if you have been to Goa before, if you have been to Arambol, if you like it or not, or maybe you're planning to come here. I send you a big hug from this very big and uh, peaceful uh, beach and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.